Anybody know what the first five are? Shout out if you can do all of them. Great job! Here's the first five books of the Bible. We have Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and last but not least, Deuteronomy. Together they're called the Book of Moses because God used Moses to write them. As usual though, I've invited my friend Miss Carol to help us zoom in and zoom out. Every few seconds, a picture will be on the screen. It'll zoom further and further out, and you have to guess what the picture is before it's completely zoomed out. Does that make sense? Great, let's do it. Help me out, Miss Carol. <music> from first grade. Some of you remember me, some of you are new. I'd be, I'll be happy when I get to see all of you in person. But today we're having a lesson and you just saw Zoom and what was it? It's a house. After wandering in the desert for many, many years, the Israelites were finally ready to get ready to go into the promised land, the new home that God had promised them. Now on the count of three, I want you to jump up and show me your best celebration for a new house. Ready? One, two, three. Freeze. Okay, there was one problem because Moses had disobeyed God and God did not allow him to enter the promised land with the Israelites. So on the count of three, sit down and show me your most sad face Oh, freeze. In the book of Deuteronomy, Moses knew it was going to be his last chance to give the Israelites instructions. Let's find out what he told them. <music> Watch the Zoom, it's a ruler. Moses told the Israelites to remember the special rules that God wanted them to live by. Most of these rules came from the Ten Commandments. Do you remember the Ten Commandments? I bet you do. Let's find out by playing a little game. Okay, when I say go, you start saying the Ten Commandments. Ready, set, go. Say as many as you can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. God wanted the Israelites to remember the Ten Commandments because he knew that following these rules is the best way to live. God also wanted everyone to know that the Israelites were special because they followed him. By living differently from the other people, the Israelites would stand out big. The other nations around them would see that the Israelites were living the best way and that God blessed them. 
Moses had one more important thing to tell the other Israelites before he died. Let's see what else Moses told the Israelites. Stick your hand out. Give me a handshake. Okay, you've got a deal. A handshake is what you do when you make an agreement with someone. When the Israelites were wandering in the desert, they made a special agreement with God called a covenant. God promised the Israelites that he would love them, take care of them, and give them a new land. In return, the Israelites promised to worship only God and live by his commandments. Moses wanted the Israelites to remember their covenant with God when they moved into the promised land. Let's do a final round of Zoom, ready? <music> Moses wanted the Israelites to remember all the ways that God had cared for them in the past. He said that God was like an eagle who guarded his baby eaglets. God hovered over them to protect them. He caught them and lifted them up. When they fell, he helped them soar to the highest places in the land, and he fed them the finest foods. No other God was with them, only the one true God. God knew that if his people remembered that he had cared for them in the desert in the past, that they would trust him to take care of them in the future. Finally, after Moses finished talking to the Israelites, he went off by himself into the desert where he died. With Joshua as their new leader, the Israelites were now ready to enter the promised land. Thanks so much, Miss Carol. Wow, God sure wanted the Israelites to remember a lot of stuff. In fact, there were 23 different times in the book of Deuteronomy that God tells his people to remember something. When your parents have a lot of things they want you to remember, do you ever write it all down? That's basically what God did in the book of Deuteronomy. God knew that Moses wasn't going to be with the Israelites when they crossed into the promised land, so he had Moses write everything down. God wanted his people to remember the rules that he gave them, and he wanted them to remember the big agreement that he made with them. But more importantly, God wanted the Israelites to remember the amazing things that God had done for them. That's what our Bible verse for today shows us. Let's open to Deuteronomy 32.7. It says, remember the days of long ago. Think about what the Lord did through those many years. Deuteronomy 32 7. Now God wanted the Israelites to remember all of the things he had done for them so that they could have courage in their new land. Sometimes it can be super scary going to a new place like the promised land. Maybe it's for you starting school at a new school or doing school at home for the very first time. But remember all of the things that God has done for you in the past. It's easier to trust that he'll take care of you in the future when you do. And you know what? God took care of the Israelites and he takes care of us too. So we should remember the many things that he has done for us. And we might not be moving into the promised land, but there are plenty of times when we're gonna feel nervous about something and we need to remember all of the ways that God has cared for us. Let's pray and ask God to help us remember the things that he's done. Dear God, I want to ask that you would help us remember all the things that you've done for us. 
Lord, you've provided so much, whether it's school or parents or food or fun or friends or family or church. Lord, I ask that you would remind us of all the gifts that you've given us so that when we're worried or we don't trust you, that we would be reminded of all the things you've done. We love you so much. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, we have something a little bit different. Instead of answering questions, I want you guys to draw a picture of one special thing that God has done for you, and I want you to write it down. Tell him thanks while you're drawing, and send me a picture so I can see. I love you guys, I miss you guys, and I can't wait to see you soon. Bye, everybody.